Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. The film I'm going to talk about right now is called Alice Through the Looking Glass. Hey, you know, this is uh, Alice in Wonderland, but this has nothing to do with the original story of Alice in Wonderland. As you can see, the title is Alice Through the Looking Glass. Now, this is directed by James Bobbin. The last Alice in Wonderland directed by another director made a billion dollars. So Disney spent $170 million on this one. Will they make their money back? Of course they will at Disney. But is it worthwhile? Well, let me tell you a little bit about it. Well, in this is Johnny Depp. You know, he's the Mad Hatter. And Mia Wuskowski. She's the uh, Alice in this film. Now, the film opens up Alice Kingsley. You know, she's a, a captain of a cargo ship, the Wonder. You know, that's her father's ship. And, you know, the scene opens up where she's escaping pirates. And it kind of reminds you of Pirates of the Caribbean. That is coming back. But anyway, kind of reminds you of that. So then she gets home. You got, you know, she got all these factions against her because she's a woman. For example, Lord Ascot, the guy who asked the mayor, and she turned him down. Well, he's taken over her father's company and things like that. And, uh, you know, he made references to her that she's a woman. She shouldn't be doing those things. And next thing you know, she see a blue butterfly. She finally gets in a room by herself and a blue butterfly talks to her. It's the voice of the late Alan Rickman and tells her that, hey, the Hatter needs you. Something's going on. She said, what? You're kidding me. So she goes back into Wonderland, but find out the Mad Hatter, again, played by Depp. Well, he's depressed. He's dying. He's not happy because he feels that his family is alive because he has some evidence of it. But he doesn't know what to do, so he'd rather do nothing and become depressed until Alice shows up. That's the gist of the story. She rescues his family. Ah, but it's the way she did it that's eh, somewhat interesting. Now, this movie, Alice Through the Looking Glass, it is a work of art, but art is very subjective. You'll see a piece of art, you might say, yeah, nay, you might say, oh, wow, or you might say, uh, well, for me, this work of art is, eh, it's on the borderline of not being that thrilling. For example, here the Hatter got daddy issues, and uh, Sasha Baron Cohen's in this. I thought he was miscast. He wasn't that good in it. Not to me anyway. He wasn't that entertaining. And when he showed up on the screen, the film just really slows down. It really does. Maybe it's the way that the uh, screenwriter, Linda Wolverton, wrote it, you know. And then, of course, Bobbin, the director, the way he directed it. Also, and this is Lindsay Duncan is in it and Leo Bell, Rice Infants and Matt Lucas, Geraldine James. You know, all these people are still in this film. Also, there's another storyline, too, about the Red Queen and the White Queen. You know, they were sisters. Well, they are sisters. And they show the reason why they are distanced or why they are different from each other. It shows what happened to them in their childhood. Because in order for Alice to save the Mad Hatter's family, uh, time has a lot to do with it. Again, they're not using the original story. And this film really wasn't that fun. And you really don't feel the danger. You know, at least I felt it. Eh, everything's going to work out all right. Because this is Alice through the looking glass. But it's very pretty to look at. And the acting in this is not that great. Because a lot of the actors are just standing around. Remember, they got blue screens all around them. They're working with 3D. They're working with uh, CG, you know, and they're just really standing around. They are very limited for space. And you can feel it. At least I did. I felt it. And it was okay, but I, I just couldn't clap because I knew 
it was going to be okay. Like I said, I didn't feel any danger in this, in this film at all. You know, Helena Bonin Carter, you know, she, she had a little bit more role in this. She had more than Anne Hathaway and Anne Hathaway. Like I said, she did just a lot of standing around. She wouldn't do anything that much. So I'm only going to give this an average two palm trees or two stars out of four. It wasn't that great. It was just okay. I mean, for $170 million, it's really great to look at. The details, the 3D, all of that is fantastic. But the story, which is the other part, eh, wasn't that good. So two palm trees out of four for me, Al McGee. Alice through the looking glass. And the only reason I gave it two palm trees, again, because it's great to watch. Otherwise, I would have gave it one and a half. It's really beautiful to watch. It, it really is. The colors and everything really get at you. The little details of things going on in the film is really great. But the story, yeah, two palm trees. Hey, I'm Al McGee. Thank you for watching Your Entertainment Ticket with me, Al McGee. I really appreciate it. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right. Walkie We are your entertainment ticket.